everybody to another video of Coding Cleverly. Today's topic is about vectors. Okay, so vectors is a data structure and I haven't covered this topic in depth. So there was one video that covered arrays and I have a card on the top right corner where you could watch that video of basic arrays. So then I have another video where we covered two dimensional and multi-dimensional arrays. So this video is gonna be about vectors and this is another data structure. Now vector is a dynamic list of items and they could shrink and then they could grow. They could grow or they could shrink in size. Array doesn't do so much. It stays as its own thing. So what we're gonna do is basically include something um, over here. And then we're not gonna use our namespace standard. And we're, we're just gonna go straight in here. Now it's totally up to you, you want to use it or not, but I'm gonna prefer not to in this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include a library that is called the vector library. So over here, I'm just gonna include vector so there you go this is the vector library and now we could activate the vector function and the vector type so how do we do it is a standard colon colon vector now this is the general syntax now you could put the type inside over here now if you want an int you have to put int if you want a double you put a double if you want a string then standard colon colon string there you go so now after that we give a space and put an identifier the name so i would call my vector anything i want i could say people and then we could uh, write a number of people uh, we could say buildings and put buildings we could say places i'm going to do fruit so f-r-u-i-t-s and i'm going to equal it and then i'm going to define my member uh, items inside so member items could be listed inside notice that you could also put the size which is right in here and you would define that there are 10 fruits inside of this vector item list. So uh, I could do something like that, or I could just uh, explicitly ca define them over here. So I could say something as apples as my first item. And then I could say bananas. Okay. And now we could say something like grapes. Say something as oranges. Okay, now we have defined it and you can see the semicolon at the end. Now what, what happens if we want to access it? So basically they're sorted in index so these are indices which are basically sections in the array so we have to refer to the index so this is zero this is one this is two and this is three notice that the computer starts from zero always from zero and goes till the number n minus one so if i have a size of four then the total elements will be from zero to three all right so that is a giving giving a total of four now if i want to access the first element i would say something like this so i would say uh, standard then I would say console output and I would have to access it. So I would say the fruits and I would give. Uh, what I would give is the sub zero and this will locate me. So I would just say standard colon colon end line. And now this will locate me the first element, which is apples. So if I run this control alt and N, you would see in my terminal that I have apples as my first element. That's really cool. Let me just clear the screen. And now let's go back over here. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna access the last element. How do we do that is basically so simple. Standard colon colon C out and then we say fruits and then we have sub. Now the last element was three so we just say sub three and then we give standard colon colon and line. So if I save this code and now control alt and N you would see that over here we have apples as our first one and then oranges at the end now if we want to get the size how do i get the size there's a, f a special function for this and this is also defined using the vector library and that is basically just saying over here so um right after this i would say i would say standard colon colon standard colon colon c out and i would just want the size so i would say fruits and then i would say dot and then I would say, like, these are all the functions that are available. So it, there's so many functions. So one of the functions that we could use is size. So this is the size function. And we just have to put this. Now, if I save this, control alt and, and I would get a size of four. So let's see, there you go. I got a size of four. That means there's four elements inside and it starts from zero and ends till three. So that's our size function. Notice that we could dynamically increase the size and decrease the size. So how do we do this? Is basically, we just leave it like this and then after that we could include uh, add more stuff into it. So we'd say, we'd say basically fruits and then I would put dot and then there's a function which is known as push back. 
So this is the function. And what we could do is we could add elements inside. Now, whether it, we could put a string inside and we could say watermelons. So, so we could say watermelons and we could, we could include that. Now we could have that and then we could have another one. So let's have another one. And we could call this as, we could call this as cherries. So now let's save this code. And what I'm gonna do is now, after showing the size, which was four, after adding two, I wanna see the size once again. So I would see now that I would have not only four, but let me just put an end line over here so that the screen could look a little more better. So standard colon colon end line and save this, control alt and N. And now you would see that we had four as in the beginning and then we increased by adding two and now this uh, push underscore back does is basically adds these elements at the end of the list so basically over here after oranges watermelons came so that's in the fourth I would say size uh, position and then after that cherries comes in the fifth position so for, from zero position one position to and then you would see that the size increased to six so that was really cool now what if we want to like delete elements so there's one function that's called fruits dot and now it's called pop underscore back so this pop underscore back deletes the very last item in the list so the very last item for here is now cherries which which we included over here so cherries will be deleted and you would have this watermelons left so we could like have that and then we could have a for loop and display everything inside of it so um let's let's delete this out and what we're going to do is we're going to have a for loop that would display everything inside i would say int i is equal to zero and then i would say i is less than fruits dot size which is we already know and then i would say i plus plus and then we would just give standard colon colon c out and i would say fruits sub i and just put an end line over here so standard colon colon end line and now save the code and run this and now what you would see that basically we added a watermelons and cherries here and we got the size before which is four now we're going to get add this and we're going to delete one so basically with cherries will be deleted which was the very last element and we would just have apples bananas grapes oranges and then after that watermelons and no cherries will be included so let's run this code so Control alt and n and now you see that we have apples bananas or grapes oranges and watermelons so that was it with our code and i hope you understood the concept of vectors it was pretty simple straight to the point and so simple to understand um, that was it see you in the next one peace out <laughs>